after this, we have our competitive analysis that um, site selection group did for us. Mr. Josh Bays is here, and he's going to present that to us um, today at 11.45. Um, I had several meetings in Atlanta with developers and consultants this past month. Um, as you know, we continue to work with Langdon College Business on the logistics minor that they have <coughs> now, but we will hopefully have a major in um, the fall, which will help our logistics distribution companies. Um, also presented our grad sites to our state allies in August. Um, you can read the other work there that we've talked about. Um, as you know, we have the 2015 Annual Economic Summit is scheduled for Thursday, October, October 8th from 8 to 12. And I've asked to present um, on the development of the activities and what we've been you know, doing on Salesforce. They want us to talk a little bit about logistics and distribution and um, the competitive analysis that we'll get today that we must talk about as well. So I think it's about 10 minutes. It's not very long. So I'll be presenting it up. And that concludes my okay. Good Yes, sir. Well, one thing. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. The College of Business really appreciates the authority's effort in that regard. Um, they are really happy, excited about this program. The minor is up and running. Um, the major hopefully will come on board soon after. So we thank you all. It's a good job. Thank you. Okay. During August of 1915, the Government Accounting Standards Board <coughs> came out with a publication about incentives. And uh, Tom and I talked and we read this and uh, Dan McCray of Southern Shaw has sent uh, basically a kind of a synopsis and uh, it doesn't take effect until the 15th of December. Uh, the suggestion is for us to start looking at it and that's what we're doing. But uh, there's, there's basically in regard to incentives, uh, it's a financial determination and publication of what we would do for a particular business in a particular situation. So it's all coming. I'm sure there's going to be seminars about it, a lot of discussion, but uh, uh, we are on top of it. Uh, Thomas has looked at it and I've looked at it. Uh, the second thing I have is, is if you recall, uh, in uh, December 15th, excuse me, not December 15th, on that, 15th of May, uh, we entered into an adventure lease and development agreement with South Georgia. A pecan company for their freezer facility out on West Hill Avenue, uh, which is an excellent addition to, to their properties and to their uh, plan of expansion. They have had a financer over the last 15 years, a Rabo Financial and Agriculture and, and Agrofinance, and uh, they've elected to go with uh, Ag Georgia Farm Credit. So they have asked us to be uh, to approve and allow the board, uh, officers of the board, to execute a deed of secure debt on that particular 1.49 acres so that they can solidify their finance with a Georgia finance. It's not something that we're not familiar with. We do this all the time in regard to taking the property and entering into a lease. In our documents, we give them the right to either assign that lease or to ask the authority to pledge the property for the loan amount. So that's the request and I recommend it to the board that we cooperate with South Georgia Pecan in that regard. They've got a closing, I think, on the 24th of this month. So we'll be getting some documents in the next week about that. And I just wanted to get permission from the, from the board to allow the chairman and an officer the sign on behalf of the board. Do you need a phone back for that? Yes, sir. Okay. Or did you get all the details there? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. I make a motion that we allow the board to grant permission to the chairman to execute a deed secured debt on the roughly 4.5 acres on behalf of South George Pecan so that they can secure a loan from Georgia Ag Credit. 1.49. 1.49. Second. A motion and a second. All in favor. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's all I have.